In this video, I want to go through a CFA level one exam style question on percentiles. This is part two of a series of three questions devoted to this topic based on the same scenario as before. So once again, if you want to get this right in the exam, keep watching and let's get solving. That's the question that I'm going to solve with you. Same data as before. So a table showing um, data on PE ratios from different companies arranged in ascending order, which is critical. If it's not arranged, you would have to do it yourself. However, in the exam, you probably wouldn't have time. And I guess the examiner wouldn't give you such a tough question where you would first need to arrange things in order before you can do any solving. We're asked for the ninth decile and 50th percentile for this distribution. Uh, what are they closest to? Well, given what we've already said in the previous video, you should remember that deciles um, divide the data set or the distribution here, um, um, the population into tenths. Um, we've got the 50th percentile as well. Percentiles divide the uh, distribution into halves. Now, let's deal with the ninth decile. The easiest thing to do is simply to first turn it into a percentile. So that's going to be the 90th percentile, isn't it? And the thing you have to be really, really careful with is trying to first, well, first locating the observation number. So which observation is going to act as the 90th percentile? Well, the observation number is going to be n plus 1, where n is the number of observations in total, that's 19, so 19 plus 1 is obviously 20, times 90 over 100. So what is this going to be? 20 times 9 over 10, that's going to be observation number 18. So that's the observation number, that's not the value itself. Observation number 18 is over here, and as you can see, it's 26.9. So that is our 90th percentile or ninth decile. And uh, this corresponds very nicely with answer B. So we kind of solved the question already. Brilliant. Let me write the answer down, B. However, we're still um, asked, and let's do this completely fully, for the uh, 50th percentile. Well, the 50th percentile, please note, is the same as the median, because the median divides the population or the observations into two equal halves. Halves are always equal. So what is the observation number here? Well, it's observation number n plus 1, so basically 20 times 50 over 100 or um, half, and that's going to be observation number 10. And observation number 10 is sitting right here. That's the number 17, which simply confirms that we were right with the um, answer B as being the correct one. And please appreciate the logic of it. If we pick the number 10 over here, then the same number of observations lie at or below this figure as the, as the observations which lie at or above it. So um, that is indeed correct, and answer B is correct as well. <laughs> 